Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're taking a look at how to download PS3 firmware for RPCS3. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you're looking to set up RPCS3 to play PlayStation games on your computer, I've got you covered with a tutorial video and I'll drop a link in the description below. One of the biggest questions I get from this video is how to download that PS3 firmware. Now, when I first created the video, I didn't realize that downloading PS3 firmware would be difficult at all. I will drop a link to this site in the description below. It's PlayStation's official site, so this firmware should be safe. Now for the video, I was using Mozilla Firefox and using Mozilla Firefox is still the easiest way to do it. You just have to click on download PS3 update and you can download the file. However, flipping over to Google Chrome and I can see now where people are having problems. If you click on download PS3 update, absolutely nothing happens. You can click on this one for days and nothing's really gonna happen. Fortunately though, the way around this is extremely simple. Just right click on download PS3 update, go to save link as, and then click save. Now, once you've done that, there's a very good chance on the bottom left hand corner of your screen, you'll get a message that says the file can't be downloaded securely. To get around this, click the up arrow and then click keep. And then after that, you should have your file. Now, if for some reason you're not comfortable doing that, or if you're still running into some issues, the Internet Archive might have what you're looking for. I'll drop a link to this page in the description below as well. This is PS3 update version 484. If you go to the right hand side of the screen here under download options, click show all. It should show the file that you're looking for, ps 3 updatpup just click on it and download it. Now I cover this next part of my tutorial, but as a bonus step here, if you want to install the firmware, open up RPCS3, go to file and click on install firmware. From here, select the file that you just downloaded and click open. It shouldn't take very long at all. You'll get this nice success message, successfully installed PS3 firmware and LLE modules. If this is the first time you've used RPCS3, if you click okay here, it's gonna start compiling the PPU modules. It takes a bit of time, but be patient. And from there, that's really about it. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Short, sweet, and to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about our PCS3, and if there's another emulator you want me to take a look at, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.